And so you said you went to Tacoma, and then was from there. To, is that where you went to Philly? Then that's and where right I went after to that? Philly. Yeah. And then I mean, how how'd you stumble upon corrupt? Well, when I was out there in Philly, you know, I was in a group. We were doing everything on the scene in Philly as far as like, uh, uh, you know, selling the tickets, opening the shows. Uh, we had like a, a weekly night on South Street, which was like the most popping street. You know, we had had songs with Freeway at the time, uh, Gilly. We had been working with oh. people from Philly. And, uh, you know, there was a producer in my crew. And Roscoe, Corrupt's younger brother, was working on an album, and his cousin connected him with Tech, who was in my group. From there, we met Corrupt. Corrupt really liked the production and liked the group. So he's like, bro, I can't really help you out here in Philly the same way I could help you in L.A. But y'all got to be ready to, to put it on the line. But that's, I, like I said, I grew up moving. Mm. So for me, moving, relocating wasn't nothing. So, you know, I had relocated to Philly to chase my hip hop dream. So to now go to L.A. with uh, Corrupt. What time frame was that? Or what year? That was 2000. That was 2000. Uh, that was 2006. OK. When we went out there and then we released the Corrupt Presents Tangled Thoughts album in 2007. And then the group disbanded after that. But at the time, you know, I was willing to go wherever I needed to be to to be heard and so it's kind of risky right you pack your whip up you pack your car up you drive across the united right. states you get to california and you want this famous legendary rapper to do everything that that he promised he was going to do you know and shout out to him because he did everything he had Ooh. us in the studio with snoop uh had us in the studio with all the west coast legends like immediately and i was a game changer man because you know you making music in your basement or in your studio or you at your crib you know studio time here and there but you really just making it with your homeboys and then now you're going around all these people you idolize especially me being from the west coast it meant even more right because i mean i was walking the streets of spokane listening to doggy style exactly album my favorite album that kind of made me fall in love with hip-hop on another level and then now i'm in the studio with them so that really kind of like opened my eyes on manifestation and that anything was possible. Like I keep having moments that happen in my in my career that that I'm like, this is what I wanted to have happen. And then then, then you're living it, you know, after a while, you know.